Well, Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy Holidays. Yes, it's that time of the year. We finally made it to the end. We're close, we're Christmas and New Year's are right around the corner. And yes, I'm wearing my festive Christmas sweater that I take out every year this time. So how do the holidays affect you? So for a lot of us, the holidays are a stressful time. It's a stressful time because we try to cram so much in, in a short period of time, get, getting gifts, preparing for these big meals. Now maybe, just maybe because it's 2020, we won't have as many guests. We won't have as many visitors at our home. But it's still a stressful time. We still want the perfect Christmas. Our expectations are always very high this time of the year. And we also can experience a lot of anxiety and sadness and grief because many of us have lost loved ones either this year or in years past. The holidays seem to bring out some of those emotions that we have put in a box maybe throughout the year. And then at this time, we, we realize that the loved one is, is not here to celebrate with us. So there is a lot of a sadness, a lot of fear, anxiety, some hurt and some grieving that is revisited at the holidays. Not to mention that we tend to overindulge over the holidays. Maybe it's with food or with alcohol or with spending money. Maybe we spend so much on our children, on our families, because we want it to be special and we want them to remember these times of celebration. But the holidays are really a stressful time for, for a lot of people and it can create a lot of conflict in relationships, in couples. So I wanna talk with you today about how do couples deal with this time of year, the holiday stress. How do you deal with it? Well, the first thing is it's so important during the holidays that you pay attention to self-care. And self-care might mean getting sleep because a lot of people uh, are sleep deprived over the holidays. Get proper sleep, get proper rest. That might mean exercise. It, it might mean watching your diet and paying attention to the foods that you eat and the quantity of foods that you eat. But taking care of yourself is an important part of this season because it, it's so important now with, with all the things going on in the world that we pay close attention to our physical health and our well-being. The second thing that's important for couples is to set aside time to be alone with your partner, to be alone in your relationship. So that might mean small snippets of time. It might mean going for a walk or, or grabbing a cup of coffee, just you and your spouse. It's a special time and it's a time where it, it's so important to be reminded of why your relationships are top priority. They need to be top priority. So spend time alone with each other, even if it's just for short snippets. The third thing is recognize that conflict. Conflict is part of every marriage, every relationship. It's like taxes, you can't avoid conflict. But at a stressful time, conflicts are intensified. So to be able to work through conflict, to be able to talk through conflict and validate each other's feelings and position. Acknowledge where your partner is when it relates to the conflict. And most importantly, come to some sort of compromise that the two of you can live with so that eventually you can let go of the conflict and move on. Some couples stay stuck in conflict and they can't let go, they can't release it. I encourage you this holiday season to let go of conflict and put it in perspective. In the big scheme of things, in the big scheme of what's going on in this world, you have each other. Be reminded of that fact that you have each other. Something else that's really important during the holidays 
for relationships is to set boundaries. To be able to set boundaries and, and draw the line in the sand and set limits with people, might be friends or family. Be able to say no and make sure that you're focused in on your relationship first. Some people have a hard time setting boundaries and they overcommit themselves to way too much, especially this time of the year. Set the boundary and say no. And the last thing I wanna leave you with for holiday stress in relationships is to be patient, to be kind, to be loving and respectful with each other. It is a stressful time. So provide even more grace and even more patience with one another. Remember that your marriage is the most important relationship you'll ever have. So be patient with your spouse and be patient with all of those individuals in your life that you have a relationship with. Forgive and be able to release any hurt, anger, and sadness. And be reminded of the reason for the season. And it's our Savior that was born on Christmas. I wish all of you a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a peaceful and joyful New Year. Until next time, Dr. Tony Ferretti, signing out.